Hi guys, John Locke here, and today I've got something a bit different for you guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to decode a key from an image, uh, and that decoded key can be used to make an exact replica of that key. Now, before I decided to make this video, I thought long and hard about it, uh, because, you know, I don't want to put something out there to train bad guys to do bad things. But, uh, you know, first off, this knowledge is, is readily available, it's out there already. And the purpose of me doing this is to show you how easy it is uh, and so how important it is to protect, um, you know, your keys from showing up on places like social media and stuff. So uh, it's it's just so easy to make a, to, to make a copy of a key from a, a still image of it, uh, just way easier than you could possibly imagine. So what I've got in the vise here is a quick set smart key uh, or yeah, smart key, um, I think it's a Gen 3. Uh, and this is quite a difficult lock to pick. It's a, it's actually a great lock for uh, North America. Uh, it's, you know, we don't have a lot of high security uh, locks out there. And this is readily available mass production, not too expensive. And uh, an overall, a pretty good lock when it comes to picking. So uh, I've just got my lock here, show you this key. I had the wrong key. Yeah, here we go. So, yeah, this is the right key for the lock. Works great. Um, and that's it. So there's my key, and um, and I want to show you now how uh, how easy it is to create a copy of that key uh, from just putting this video up online. Okay guys, so what we're looking at here is a uh, still screenshot of the video uh, that you just saw. Uh, and I took a, a shot with uh, this key in it. It's a, you know, it's a close up of the key, but it's really blurry, it's not great, but we don't even need that for, for decoding. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of isolate the key. That's the only part that I need. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Um, and I do need it for what I want kind of in the other direction, keep pointing the other direction. So I'm just gonna flip it horizontal like that. That should work for us. And that's really all I need for uh, processing it. Now I've got this key uh, gauge image. Um, this is from uh, open source project from Deviant Olam. Really appreciate him putting the, this out there. This information uh, from Deviant, uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, of this video where you can get it. He's got uh, these types of images for most, most keys that you'll find in North America, um, but this can also be found um, many other places uh, on the web, uh, also for keys of all types outside of North America. So uh, I just, per, uh, I like this particular um, guide. I think it's pretty good. Um, maybe you like a different one. Um, that's, you know, it doesn't matter for the, for this one. Um, but what I wanted to do was show, uh, <clears throat> oh no. Show how to do this process. Sorry for that. Just clicking some wrong keys here. What I want to do is paste this here. <clears throat> I'm going to just make this a little transparent so we can see underneath it as well. Um, that's important for lining everything up. And the first thing I'm going to do is rotate this a little bit so that it's, you know, the, the bottom of the key is flat. I need kind of a flattened version of this uh, for this to work. And yeah, still, you know, really not uh, clear, but that's, that's really fun. Don't need a clear image to do this, this process. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, make sure that the image is scaled correctly. And the way that I do that is from these shoulders here. I want the shoulders to, to line up. So uh, I am lining up these shoulders. It's much easier to do this more precise when you have a picture of the key laying flat. Um, then you don't have any kind of weird angling or anything like that going on. Um, but I wanted to show this kind of from even from the perspective of a video um, 
where you might not have a perfect image, um, that that uh, this technique is still uh, not difficult to to do, um, and that's why you should be really careful with your keys. So, looking here, yeah, I've got to make it a bit bigger to get the the shoulders in. Oops, keep making this mistake with rotating versus scaling. Sorry about that. Okay. Now it looks like it's scaled pretty much exactly as I need it. <clears throat> and what else am I going to do? Well, <clears throat> I think that's all I need for here. And now I'm going to add a line. Let's see. Let's add a nice blue line here. And, uh, just grab this line tool, make a straight line. There's a straight line. Let me cut this line. I want to get rid of my selection area. Let me do that first. Okay. Now I can put my line on here. Nice flat line. And now I just want to put my line on the image and uh, see if I can get this lined up with this template. So I know that this is not perfect, uh, perfectly aligned, so I'm going to have to go with kind of the closest number. But here on one, I think that the closest number is a two. This is also a two, so I have two, two. And then let's see for these next ones. <clears throat> I see a problem already. You see this, this darker. Let me get my image properties better here. Uh, a little darker. You see this line in the keyway here? This line right here should be flat also and it should match this kind of dark line here. I see it's trailing down quite a bit. So I'm gonna correct that as well. Um, let me do that by going like this. And I can do it like this as well. Oops, not like that, like this. I think I've got that corrected a little bit better now. Let's see. Like I said, I know that the angle's not perfect, so could be a problem, um, you know, with the source image. Let's go back and, oh, I lost my line. Let me get a, another little line tool here. I can make this flat. <clears throat> okay. One cut still looks like a two to me, two, three looks like a six, four looks like a six, and this looks like it's a four to me. So I believe that this key is a two, two, six, six, four. Um, I actually have a key decoder card. So let's go check that out and see if we're able to uh, validate if this is indeed a 22664. Okay guys, so here's the key that we were um, working with before. And I've got this, 
Let's see, it's from Red Team Tools, uh, also the company that Deviant Oram um, runs. Um, and I think he calls this the Devious uh, Decoder Card. Oops. And <clears throat> also in the files that I link, um, the outline for this is, uh, is also included as an open source. So if you uh, want to make your own, you have access to um, some laser cutting tools or whatever. Yeah, you can make your own, but I think this one's only, it's less than 10 bucks on his website, Red Team Tools. I'll link this also in my product description because I find it useful. Um, and this can decode keys for Schlage, quick set, and a master lock and American lock. Uh, and for the key part, you come, it's a quick set key. Come to the key gauge part. You put your key in all the way this way, and then you slide it uh, to the part until it won't slide anymore. So right here, um, we know this first cut is indeed a two. It's in the two spot. The next cut, also a two. So that's what we said. We said two, two, six, six, four, I believe. So now let's get the next one. Where do we line up? Indeed a six. Next one. Also a six. All right, four for four, can we go five for five? And indeed it is a four. So you can see a bad image quality uh, copy of that. I mean, if I took a, uh, a still shot here, it would be so easy, perfect. Flat like this, perfect, easy to, to, to get. Uh, but you saw a really blurry thing, he was like up here, still able to get it out of focus, everything. Uh, and validated. So now that we've decoded the, the key, we know uh, the, the code for the key, creating a replica of that key is super simple. I need a key blank. These are some quick set key blanks that match um, the, the key way that I'm using. And <clears throat> these are a pair of, these are called leashy cutters, um, but they're used for cutting keys, you can see it comes up here, come down, pinches it, removes some material, has some guides for the, the depth um, that I'm gonna cut. So um, <clears throat> with this, that's all I need to, to make a copy of the key, just cut each one to the right depth. And now I've got a, a, a copy of that key that I can use in that key way. Um, that's just one way that once the key is decoded, you can go into um, pretty much any locksmith uh, shop and tell them you'd like a, a key cut to code, give them the code. You know, maybe the reputable ones will, will ask why you want some proof and so on and so forth. And you can go on eBay and get a uh, key cut to code. I mean, um, it's, it's just not difficult um, once you have the coding of a key um, to get an exact replica of that key um, and and now your lock is, is, you know, it's just an ornament. It doesn't do anything. Once you have a key for it, oh, well, game over. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I did something a little different today. Um, thought it was fun. You know, again, just like when I pick locks, I'm not trying to train people how to do bad things. I'm trying to show, um, you know, how I enjoy this, this sport. Um, this is another, you know, interesting part of, of security around keys and just keeping control of your key, uh, including images of your key is critically important to making sure that they're secure. So uh, I want to point that out. I wanted to show how easy it is to do. Um, and you know, I'm not out there to teach bad guys how to do bad things. I'm out there to teach good guys what they need to be safe uh, or as safe as possible. And uh, that's what I wanted to show. Hope you had a good rest. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video first off. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, a good rest of your week. If you like this video, write me a little comment. This is a new type of content for me. Um, if you thought it was boring, wasn't interesting, had a problem with me putting this information out there, let me know. Um, you know, it's a little experiment for me. So really looking for feedback uh, if you guys enjoy this.